Hey guys, today we're gonna to talk about some things that rich people do with their money that you should also be doing right now. Hey guys, it's Philip Watley with Life Without Boundaries. And if you're new to the channel, this is a place where we talk about making money online, how to grow a business online, and just different ways that you can supplement your income so that you can live a life free of financial boundaries. And if that sounds interesting to you, go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the bell notification to let you know when we release new videos. Now today we're gonna to talk about some of the ways that rich people handle their money. Now this is some things that we can learn in ourselves and, our, and with our finances that can help us improve the way we handle our money and how we can save money in the future and even make more money by doing these things. The first thing that rich people do with their money is probably the most important and that's invest it back in themselves. Now, I'm not talking about spending money on new clothes and cars and things, and that's certainly something that rich people do, but most of the time, when someone who isn't uh, rich or someone with, that doesn't have a uh, business type mindset, when they get their money, most of the time they, uh, you know, they, they sort it out with their bills and then they, some of it may go to savings, but if it's not doing anybody any good sitting in a bank. Uh, yes, I'm not saying you shouldn't save money. Yes, you should save money. But you should also set aside a portion of your money if you can to invest it into something, whether that's the stock market or if you're investing in your own business. Um, investing money into something to try and grow that can grow over time and become this, this big thing that can end up making you really wealthy and really successful is something that every rich person has and every rich person does there's not a single rich person in this world that hasn't done this um i guess without the exception of people that are born into wealth that haven't worked eventually they're going to have to use their money to build up something for themselves but investing your money back into something is people is something that people don't like to do because they don't have that gratification right away rich people really understand the the importance of delaying gratification now kind of take the example of retirement for instance. You're putting a little bit of money from your paycheck into a retirement fund every year so that when you actually retire, you actually get more money than what you put in. Now, most people do this because they don't have to think about it because it's done in their check, uh, taken out of their check right away. But that's an example of how you can end up with more money than what you put in. Investing in a business or investing in something like stocks and, uh, and paying attention, investing your time into those things can really help you progress your life financially and help you get out of any type of uh, financial boundary that you're in. So investing in yourself is super important. Now the number two way that rich people use their money, they use their money in a way that helps them build really good credit. Now really good credit can be used in lots of ways to, um, to help further your success and to help you make money because if you have a good credit and you stay on top of your bills and you pay off your credit cards quickly, your credit score will go up and you are able to do things like apply for rewards cards and things that can end up making you more money um, in the long run that normal people with low credits don't have access to. Um, like just recently I bought a vehicle and I have a really good credit score and I was able to walk onto that lot and just basically go away with like the best insurance that you can get uh, at the lowest premium rate. And over time, that saves lots of money. That's lots of money that I'm keeping because I stay on top of my credit card bills and I use my money to up my credit and to do things like that so that I can afford or be rewarded for being responsible in those, in those uh, aspects of my life. Uh, I have two credit cards right now that just rack up sky miles and extra points and extra money for me and my family. We take a vacation every year for basically nothing just because we use those cards just for everyday purchases and pay them off every month. Uh, we only really buy what we need and we use those cards to pay up, to build up a credit. And when you get a good credit score, you can pretty much you know, use cards like that to get free things and uh, nice things and to put down payments on cars, to take trips across the world, uh, to buy things for your house and you could uh, get approved for loans really easily because you're responsible with money and people see that. So building a credit is something that rich people do with their money that is very important and that, nor and that regular everyday people should not 
uh, miss out on. That it's something that sh they should be focusing on very, very carefully. Now, a third way that rich people use their money is that they buy assets. They have things that they invest their money into, material things that they can, over time, end up being worth more than they were when they purchased them. Now, uh, most regular everyday people won't be able to do this too much. Um, I personally don't have enough income to invest as much into assets as uh, as most rich people, but assets could be anything from, you know, most rich people collect cars, but they have a bunch of cars and they just sit and they collect value because most of them are vintage cars and cars and they, they increase in value over time so eventually one day they can go back and sell it for more money than they, than they uh, invested in. Uh, another asset is stocks and also art, artwork. Um, you know, if you find an up, up and coming artist and you get a piece of artwork early, then over time, as more popular they become, their work increases. I had a college friend who was a paint who majored in painting. When he started painting professionally, I actually purchased one of his paintings at uh, you know whatever he charged me. It was really low; it was fairly priced for an everyday person. And it's been almost 10 years now, and he is blown up. Like he is all over traveling around, painting and holding exhibits. Like the painting in my house is probably worth four to five times as much as it was when I bought it. And it's just gonna continue to increase as it sits in my house. So investing in assets and spending your money on assets can is something that can be really profitable if you've got money to do it. Now the fourth way that rich people spend their money is they make tax conscious decisions. They uh, think about how is what I'm gonna purchase gonna affect my taxes? And how much money am I gonna be able to get back? Most rich people do things like investing in a 401k. Um, they set money aside for, for a children's college fund and a special bank account that helps uh, with their tax payments. And things like that can really uh, cut the cost of taxes when you're making lots of money. If they use their money and they spend it in the right way, that benefits their, the most tax return. Now the last way that rich people spend their money is they spend it on real estate. They invest in real estate. Now this can kind of go hand in hand with the assets um, step, but real estate, it's kind of different in my eyes because not, not only are, do they own physical property, but they rent it out to other people. Uh, they, can, they use it as also a, another business location. So if they need to go do business somewhere else, they are able to go to their uh, whatever other condo or house that they bought and do work there for an extended amount of time and it just kind of gives them freedom to kind of work from wherever they want. Uh, real estate can be very profitable and uh, a lot, almost every rich person or successful person has multiple uh, pieces of real estate that they own and that they either make money from or they just have uh, for their own convenience. So investing in real estate is one of those things that obviously is going to take some money but once you follow some of these other steps and advices then you get a business up and running then real estate could be one of those things that you might want to look into to kind of further your success in your life so those are five ways that rich people spend their money if you're looking for some ways to make money online even just a side income i have a playlist right here of just ways that you can of different websites that you can use to make money online uh, some of those some of those are really great some of those you can really visit even build a business around. So why don't you go ahead and check that out and I'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot.